guys and welcome along to Bollerfan TV and my Cloudon and this is now 12 days to the kickoff of Luton away the start of the season I since the last video I mean, of course I've been away so I haven't done many videos for this channel um, but I since then they've played is it yeah, they've played three friendlies since then. Um, beat Gateshead 3-1, beat Pools 4-0, um, and yesterday lost 5-1 away in Germany. And I, of course, well, a 5-1 defeat in Germany, I've seen it all, people calling for Woodgate out and all that, like, but, of course, I've got to give the man a few seasons. Um, I, of course, these friendlies. I wouldn't put them, say, the count towards anything in the season. At the end of the day, yesterday they lost five-one to um, a German side. And of course, when you're playing a team from abroad, it's um, a lot different to um, a normal Championship side. But of course, we play more different tactics over abroad and all that and of course well they beat Pills and Gatehead but I can't get too carried away about that but I last season yeah they were all kicking off before the season started because they were losing to sod easy friendlies um, but I yeah of players eyes Flint has gone to Cardiff and of course I'd say Lewis Nathan Flint, I wouldn't say he's going to be much of a miss really, I mean like they could easily get him off the wage bill, I mean they've got enough who can um, cover in centre half if they have to, like um, they could play Shotton in centre half and Mac Nail on right back, but uh, yeah, yesterday in Germany, um, Clayton hadn't started, I mean, he hadn't gone to the squad, so does that mean he could be going? I mean, like, I think, well, Clayton, I've said it before, he's done as well, but I think he's done the buzz now, and like, he needs to move on. Yeah, I'd like to give McNair a chance in starting him where he's probably meant to play in centre mid. Like, in Sunderland, I think he scored about six goals in a, um, a season playing in centre mid of course last season like he wasn't good for us because he wasn't played in his right position I mean unlike a Flint going to be honest I'd rather permanently kept Danny Bart and, uh, than had Flint I mean to be honest I think Bart was a big loss to us um, but aye uh, other than us and signings there's been the odd rumour but I haven't really followed them, like all the nerd of ones. I mean of course um they've done nothing apart from the here, but somehow I'm used to that happening now, was not making any signings, so I'm not even disappointed no more, but of course well work needs to be done, like can't just keep like a line on who we've already got cause it's just going to make us fall apart, I reckon, and like, if transfer windows continue to go bad, I think, not so much next season, but maybe the season after, I think League One's on its way if we continue to go bad, but I, um, well, it's all said, all right, just get someone loan and all that, but, well, I think we just have to look at staying in the Championship now, like, um, of course, getting players on loan, I just wonder if aren't good enough for somewhere else is why I'm going on loan. But aye, it's 12 days to the season now. Um, of course, they have a home friendly next week on Sunday. Uh, I'm actually, trying to think, and I'll just check see if there's any more. I think that's the only friendly, and I'll just check. Oh no, actually, we play Salford City away on Tuesday night so yeah they have another National League side to play in a friendly uh, well anyhow guys leave any comments on what you thought turn out for the season 
Remember to like this video, subscribe to Bolifan TV, and go down and subscribe to my own channel, which I'll leave the link for in the description of this video. And up the bollocks!